What's good guys? Day after Thanksgiving, the aftermath, we're all fat as hell. Gained like three pounds. No, I seriously gained like two pounds though. Right now we're heading to Korean barbecue. Um, we're going to this place called Mapo, M-A-P-O. Uh, just like a local Korean barbecue place nearby. It's really good. I'm with Willie. What am I? Kevin behind the wheels over here. We and then we got, wheels. you guys met Erwin yesterday. So yeah, you know, we ate a lot yesterday, but we're gonna do more eating today. Just because it's cheat day, number three for me. I told you guys I'm not gonna track anything. <laughs> Savage. Savage. We're probably gonna head to LA tonight to get some dessert. So. I'm still a little bit sick, but I feel a lot better than yesterday for sure. Um, just a little bit stuffy nose and sore throat. I pretty much finished a whole pumpkin pie yesterday. I ate like, I wanna say about half of the pumpkin pie yesterday. And then this morning I ate a little bit more, so a little over half the pumpkin pie. It was a really big one. So that's probably like over 100 grams of fat. I think I consumed 200 grams of fat yesterday I alone. I almost like half of the whole pan half. Wait, you said uh, the average American consumes how many calories on Thanksgiving? 4,500. Wilson said the average American consumes 4,500 calories. All right, so for all of you guys who don't know what Korean barbecue is, I feel like it's a very uh, SoCal thing. Um, so if you guys don't know what it is, it's pretty much an all-you-can-eat buffet where they bring you platters of meat and you cook it yourself. Like you sit in front of this grill. <laughs> Did you not look to the left at all? Blind spots. Almost just killed us. <laughs> that van in front of us, she was he or she. That person driving that car was shading lanes and they didn't see us. I guess they didn't check the blind spot. And they came into our lane and almost hit our car. But luckily Kevin had some quick uh, reaction time and he just freaking swerved out of the way. So I mean it says they're open, but I guess they're closed for now. They're opening back at four. So they open up at 4 and we're just gonna chill in the car until then. About like 30 more minutes. I'm so hungry. It's gonna be worth it though because the hunger's gonna build up and we're gonna go there and kill all the meat. Uh, this is, wait, wait, is that Fear of God or no? What is that? Yeah, this is Gianni Moore though. Okay. Look at that. A dad hat though. <laughs> Plus, like, I missed like front squatting and all that. I can't do that mm -hmm. in the programming. So Erwin and I were just talking. Um, Erwin, Erwin was supposed to do a powerlifting meet when again? December fourth. December fourth, but he decided to just not do it because um, he wasn't too happy with all the training and um, he was too busy with schoolwork um, and what else? Just was it that the reason? Well, also Those are the like, reasons. I kind of like tweaked a little back a little bit. Okay, and he like injured himself. Well, more of the story, guys. Things come up and plans change. But in the end, you should do what makes you happy. Yeah, plus the meat, it's like you have to plan it four months ahead. Mm -hmm. It's 16 weeks. That's a long right. time. A lot of stuff can happen. Yeah, like powerlifting is a very uh, stressful sport to do. There's a lot of preparation that goes into it. And, you know, if if you want to be a powerlifter, go ahead. If that, if that makes you happy, yeah, go for it. But if you're just like training for fun or just doing your own thing and not, you know, want to be on a reg like a schedule or anything like that, then do that also. Just do what makes you happy, and as long as you're making gains, as long as you're uh, bettering yourself and getting, you know, more fit, becoming a better, stronger version of yourself, that's all that matters. How would you spend for it? All right, take two. Hopefully, they're open now. <laughs> all right, guys. So it's 6:40 now. We were in there for about two and a half hours. Ate a lot of food. Super full. We gotta get dessert. So we're gonna head back to my place, get ready, and then we're gonna go to uh, downtown LA and hit up a dessert place. I'll uh, show you guys where we go. Car traffic, go car traffic. Uh -huh. And you can ride bike. Hey guys, we're at the Loop in what city is this? Westminster. There we go. Yeah. So this place is supposed to be really good. Uh, it's handcrafted churros, as you can see, and you can like create your own churro and like put it in ice cream and you have your own toppings. I think I've seen a lot of like Instagram pictures um, of the churros here. I know. There's a menu guys. So you can get like a churro and you can dip it. You can put some kind of glaze on it. Or you can put, you can like have it in ice cream. And I think I want to get this, it looks really good. 
Yeah, no, 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 no. I gotta be serious. <laughs> you took off. Me laugh, I must go I cheese. Like cheese. Good. Good. I have the worst hearing in the world. Oh yeah, I can hear that now. <laughs> You're just slow mo. I know, right? <laughs> Alright guys, so I yes. got the chilled churro. Meaning I got churro and it loops into this ice cream right here, soft serve ice cream. Uh, I caught the I got the double butter flavor. It's a seasonal one and it comes with peanut butter cups, oh, Biscoff cookie. Um, I think it's like uh, speculose cookie butter drizzle, and then of course the churro. So it looks so good. Taylor got what'd you get? Cookies and cream. Cookies and cream. I also got cookies and cream. Cookies also. and cream. Like Kevin got cookie butter. Yeah, I just didn't, I just didn't want to drive through there. Yeah. Where do you live? Still Redondo or Florida? Alright guys, so finished the churro. Oh my god, it was so good. If I was a food critic, I'd give it a 10 out of 5 actually. Um, Gordon Ramsay would approve. But yeah, if you guys are ever in Westminster, go to the Loop. Fantastic. Yeah, if you're ever in California, go to the Loop. <laughs> Even if you're in San Francisco, drive like 8 hours down here. No, I don't want it. Alright, no, groups. that's it. Did no I get it, Marie? No shame. Yeah, that's so happy. We're at McDonald's right now. Yeah. Got a vanilla cone and some fries. Dude, I don't know. It's the last cheat day. Going crazy. I know. It's no loop, but it, it shall do. <laughs> What's good, guys? Today is Saturday, November 26th, and it is currently, let's see, 11.37 a.m. Sorry, I apologize for my congested nose. Um, I know I probably sound really weird right now, but just getting over being sick. Uh, definitely feel a lot better. So I'm going back to Santa Barbara tomorrow, um, Sunday. Don't film me. So uh, Wilson and I are planning to hit a workout today at our neighbor Jason's house. Right now I have like a bunch of footage that I still need to edit. I haven't vlogged, or excuse me, I, I've been vlogging. I haven't uploaded in like three, four days. So far my time at home has been amazing. You know, I've just been uh, hanging out with my friends and family and of course been eating a lot of food. But no regrets. Sometimes you just gotta uh, enjoy life. Even if you're on a strict diet, you should enjoy good food with good company. Easy. So six. Two more. Come on. Easy. Oh. <laughs> oh my God. So come on. Chance, that's a rapper. You got the two. Wow, dude. Wait, did you work on? No, it's like that. How many of you guys are now? Yeah. <laughs> so we don't panic. What do you have? Oh, really? I've had a trip for like three years. All of me, I'm getting sandwiched, which is from my friend's TV show. What I am saying is they fucking turn. Oh. Up. Oh. You can't listen to this album too many times. Wait, wait. It is a book. It is a book. Alright, guys, it's 8 o'clock. I'm with Taylor, Addy, and Wilson uh, in Addy's car, and we're heading to, uh, to get some boba at this place called Oko Cafe. It's probably my favorite uh, boba place to go to. Uh, I'll show you. What it's like when we get there. Okay. Hi. Um, can I get the milk tea? Can I have um, caramel, almond, and vanilla? And can I have it in a sumo size? Okay. So Alright guys, so made it back home. I am in a major food coma. I want to thank you guys for watching. Please stay tuned for upcoming content, and please like, share, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Girl, you feel the